Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery here with IIMFL and Smart Money Alliance. It's our pleasure to visit with you most weekday mornings at this time at eight o'clock central or minute or so before we get together with our distribution partners to talk strategies, tactics, success stories, updates, and uh, to support you. It's a pleasure to see our team grow. We have uh, well over 5,000, I think closing into close to 10,000 distribution partners that fall into one of three roles. They could be an affiliate, they could be a credit literacy educator or a joint venture partner. And we just recently announced that the joint venture partnership slash branch manager is now free. It used to cost $100,000. They dropped that down to 50,000. And then just uh, yesterday we announced a promotion to reduce that cost to zero. We've also been talking about the importance of the three C's. If someone wants funding to start or grow a business, what you know and what I know, but frankly, a lot of entrepreneurs don't seem to understand is you have to qualify, right? And so there are three C's when it comes to borrowing money. Now, if we don't want to borrow money, then we don't have to worry about the three C's. We can pursue equity-based capital. That's a different bird we'll talk about uh, on a different call. So the three C's, credit worthiness, cash flow, collateral. We have to have at least one of the three or no one's going to loan us money. No one's going to loan us money if we don't have at least one of the three C's. Well, that can cause a bit of disappointment disappointment or, or despair with some individuals that don't have any of the three C's. No problem. That's what we're here to fix. We are technical advisors, uh, come from a, a SBA background, and we understand how to move someone from being unqualified to qualified. But there's not a secret to it. You have to have at least one of the three C's. Well, which of the three C's are the most able to be manipulated? And I mean that legally and ethically. Which of the three C's can be manipulated the most predictably, the most affordably and the more most quickly. Certainly credit, without a doubt. Why is that? Well, credit doesn't have a memory. You could have had bad credit in the past, but good credit today, and all the world sees as your credit today. And then also credit is fluid. It's, it's almost always kind of ebbing and flowing. And so it is perfectly legal, moral, and, and able to modify your credit profile. There are different ways that that can be done and a lot of you do credit repair and that's great. I don't know about credit repair. Uh, you're, some of you are experts and there's many credit repair resources out there. Uh, that that there, there's not, I think it, I don't think there's a need for another solution to credit repair offerings. However, our approach is much different, as you see here on the new flyer that we developed, and we're going to talk about how to get this in your hands here in a moment. So we leverage the Fair Credit Reporting Act, hopefully my screen is, is sharing here with you, and it's specifically Section 605B, as is highlighted right here. Well, this is a specific provision of this national law that requires the CRAs, the credit reporting agencies like Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion to block applicable negative items in just four days. Now, granted, we, we call it a 60-day program, but the bottom line is they, they're legally required to block these items if it's applicable in four days. So we've been talking about this. We've, we've given you strategies to, to post on, on Craigslist, for example. We've given you scripts. Uh, earlier this week, we went through lead sources where you can get people that are out marketing for you and will literally tr live transfer phone calls to you, or you can get aged leads. They'll develop whole marketing campaigns. Those were on some recent trainings. And so there, there's certainly not a shortage of people that have credit challenges. And as we've discussed, people typically are motivated to improve their credit because they want the utility of better credit. They may want to buy a home, buy a car, refinance debt so it's more affordable, get a better job, frankly, just feel better about themselves. I mean, when you have bad credit, you feel kind of shitty, right? You've, got, you've been labeled in our society 
as not credible, as not trustworthy, as being a bad person. And so we can reset how the world sees us and how we view ourselves by improving our credit scores. And then certainly our bread and butter is helping people improve their credit profile so they can get money to start or grow a business. So this flyer is a new creation. It, it looks similar to others that we've produced, but it's for the 60 day credit suite. We would be more than happy for you at no cost to create an edited version of this. And so what that means is down here at the bottom, instead of steering people to our resource page, which is 60daycreditsuite.com, what we can do is in fact, put your phone number. And that's really what we recommend. And, and you, you all probably remember, we talked about that the Elon model is to market and have them call you. People wanna to talk to someone to know it's real, to know it's legitimate. They, they often don't want just another website or a landing page. So we are more than happy, just email in a request and succinctly state the number that you want listed on there. And then we will go in and edit this, put your phone number on it and give it to you. And so then you can mark it out and you don't have to have the flyer to mark it, but then you can mark it out and private label it. So what we call the private label or the white label is a great opportunity because as we've talked about before, it allows you to set the price point for the client. It is up to you what you want to charge the client to go through the 60 day credit suite. Uh, I think the most popular pricing model is many of you are charging a thousand up front for the client and then a thousand after they're completed after 60 days. And, and people are, are buying that in droves. So that's really fair. But if you wanted to offer something where there's no upfront cost or less or more, that's up to you. Some of you will offer the thousand upfront, a thousand and sixty days, but offer them a prepayment discount of a flat fifteen hundred if they pay it upfront, kind of an early payment discount. That is up to you. With the white label, you're going out marketing it under your umbrella. So you'll notice on here, it doesn't make reference to our entity name, does it? Doesn't make reference to our entity name, doesn't, well, of course, on the contact information, because this is our version, but otherwise it's, it's private label or white label. So that allows, we have so many people on the call today. So we got Alan, Alan might charge 2000 up front, take it or leave it. Anna Marie might say, well, no, I'll offer a thousand up front and a thousand and 60 days. Anthony might say, no, I, I, I just really want to help people. I'm going to use this as a conversation starter. I'm just going to offer it for a, a flat $250. I mean, it's, it's up to you, what you want, how you want to price it. You, you, you are your own entrepreneur. Now, what we know is we've got to pay the processing team to process the legal documents. And so our net cost of that is $839. So you collect whatever you want however much you want from the client, you submit in that net cost of 839 to us, and then we go after it. So let's let's go through the, the flyer a bit and talk about some of the highlights, and then we'll get to your questions. So certainly, you know, what are some hot buttons? People have often had bad experiences trying to improve their credit. In many cases, they've paid for things that didn't work, and they feel a bit skeptical. And, and I think most of us have been there. And so here we're clarifying that it's, it's a 60 day process, which is very reasonable. And then addressing that pain point that a lot of people have are empty promises. So we explain what we do is we're gonna do two things. We're going to use federal laws to be able to legally contest applicable derogatory items, again, under 605B. And then secondly, we're going to help them add new primary unsecured trade lines. That's, that's how you improve credit. You add positive and remove negative. And again, we want to emphasize the utility of better credit, which is whatever they're wanting to use it for. Now, if, if we create one of these for you, which is free, all you got to do is email and request it. And so your number's on here. And so let's say they call you, Greg. And, and Greg, we owe you $1,000. I just emailed you one of your clients, just upgraded from 
access to capital to capital ready 3.0 so we owe you a thousand dollars today greg if you'll check your email but so they're going to call you and so what you'll want to do is is be astute right and find out well what would better credit do for you if, if you had a 700 or 800 credit score in 60 days what would you do with your credit greg well i'd buy a house or or i'd get a new car or i'd get funding for my business you know, so, so an astute business development person, an astute educator connects with your audience. You want to find out what their pain is and be able to help them see how you can help them get from where they're at to where they want to be with no risk. All right. And so then we get down here, a, a quick credibility statement that uh, it was formed by a nonprofit organization. Again, we're not listing who the nonprofit is because we don't want them to circumvent you. And the white label, the private label, they're coming to you, they're purchasing from you, you're collecting the money from them, and you're submitting the, the, the 839 to us. You're keeping all the profit. You could charge them $10,000 if you wanted to. You would keep all the profit. And then this is a true statement, and, and I'll share it with you, and then I don't, I don't know that you need to go a lot of detail with your prospects, but uh, I was a full-time college professor. I did teach financial literacy. Frankly, it was a hybrid class. Students would come in one day a week on Tuesdays, and then the uh, rest of the week was online learning, so it's kind of a blended learning model. But these students had to apply to college, be accepted to college, pay three credit hours to sit in my financial literacy class and buy my textbook. And then uh, I would sit there and, and teach them about financial literacy, about how money works and how credit works. And we taught this strategy and it was amazingly well received. And then also the three of us that formed the model all came from the SBA. And so, so often we would have entrepreneurs that came to us that didn't qualify for funding and so we needed to help them navigate how to improve their credit and this is one of the best strategies to do so and then I used to be a score mentor so have worked with many 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 score mentors across the country and I was actually the workshop chair for Dallas Fort Worth 14 county area. And so we went out and, and taught these things. So now you've got this proven, trusted, credible model to go help people with and you can monetize it. And, and you should be making what a thousand dollars for each person that you help. On the 60 day credit sweep, we have numerous success stories, but we thought we'd go ahead and include one on the flyer just because people like to, to see numbers. And so this is a true example client started January 21st, and then just over a month later, and you can see the differences. Certainly, Credit Sweep works, 605B works. It's, it's following an FTC endorsed process. Okay, and so then here are some hot buttons, because some of you have come back and said, well, I don't know how to sell this, or I don't know how to pitch it. Well, we'll create a flyer with your phone number, but this is essentially the meat of the matter, right? So we clarify, this is not credit repair. This is not a dispute mill where you pay some monthly fee and they dispute it and they see if it comes off and they dispute it again. And all along, you're getting all these dispute codes in your credit report, which often will keep you from getting funding, but people don't realize that. So what we do is not credit repair. Secondly, uh, it's certainly legal, follows the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Section 605B. So we're very transparent. Because again, as we've talked about before, a lot of people are hesitant to pursue a credit improvement strategy because it's like the person that's offering the service has some secret and you can't know the secret, but you pay me money and somehow your credit will get better. Well, I don't think that's what the population wants. That's not what people want. They want to understand, okay, what is it? Just shoot me straight. What is it you're going to do? How does it work? Now, we realize the risk of that is people can do it themselves because there's a 130 page document we have on our website and people can use the same templates and use the same processes. And that's fine. As a 501c3, we're committed to financial literacy. So if we can teach someone to do it themselves for free, awesome. But what you and I know is a lot of people don't want to do it themselves. And you only have one chance on 605B. You don't do it just right and it gets flagged as a dispute by the CRAs, 
TransUnion, Equifax, and, and uh, Experian, and then you're in the kiss of death. So you never want it to be a dispute. It is fast, 60 days or less, very high success rate, uh, no risk, full guarantee, great success stories. And then, you know, how you want to address payment plans is up to you. Again, there's a bunch of you on the call. You, you might have um, Dion here and Dion might say, sure, I'll work with people and I'll accept payment plans. And maybe Dion will accept payment plans of, of $50 or $25. And you got uh, Mark online and he might say, no way, I need him to pay fully up front. And we got Jim Sullivan online. He might say, no, I'll, I'll split it 50-50. So, I mean, it, it's up to you. What you know is through the white label, the private label, you're taking it out to the marketplace. You're charging what you want. You can accept payments if you want or, or don't want to. But of course, the I don't want to call it even a best practice, but what we see frequently is the $2,000, a thousand up front, thousand in 60 days, that technically would be considered a, a payment plan. And again, here we're just reiterating what someone could do with better credit. So in summary, we have a new flyer. It's not some great work of art but it works well for the private label, the white label model. All you need to do is email us in the phone number that you want on here. We will remove 60 day credit sweep so they won't reference that, they can't circumvent you. You know, the worst they can do is go to the FCRA website and research it themselves, which is fine, we don't care about that. But ultimately then they'll call you, you're going to want to have a good phone demeanor so many of you we call and your voicemail's full, and I've been guilty of that too. I'm not, I live in a glass house, but uh, you know, keep your voicemail from being full. Have a good professional message. Some of you have some goofy ass messages that don't sound professional at all. So be conscious of the message that you have, keep your voicemail available, and obviously tr try to answer the call because you're gonna have some people that ring and, and they call you, and then if you don't answer, they just hang up and they're done with it. So if you're going to run a business, and, and this is running a, a credit suite business, right? Through the white label, private label. So if you're going to run a credit suite business, I predict that you'll make on average $3,000 a week, three clients a week, $3,000 a week. So it's not get rich quick. Extra 12,000 a month might make a difference in your household budget. Maybe that, that means nothing, it's peanuts to you. But certainly with a good outreach effort, you should be able to help three clients a week, net at least 3,000 a week, but you gotta run it like a business. You need to be able to collect payment from clients, however it is that you want, and you need to be reachable, right? And so whatever phone number you list, it'd be really good if you answered the phone. And if you can't answer the phone, it'd be really good if they could leave a message. And if they do leave a message, it'd be really good if you had a professional sounding recording, right? What would I have on my recording if I were you in this case? Well, what I would say is, uh, hi, thank you for calling me regarding the 60 day credit sweep. I'm sorry that I missed your call. Please leave a brief message and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Also feel free to text me at this number. Talk to you soon. You know, something like that. If you just say, this is John, leave a message at the beep. Or, or we have some, some messages are just bewildering. They, they try to be creative and, and they, just, they just glare with unprofessionalism. So you might even want to have a distinct number that they call that you can make sure that is, is going to be credible. But again, with a white label, private label, we're not charging you anything to be a, a private label, a white label partner. So that's not a barrier. You do need to be set up as a credit literacy educator, of course. We'll get you a flyer like this with your contact information. Many of you have been asking for landing pages for the credit suite, but you have to think for a second. If you're doing the white label, the private label, you don't want to drive leads into us. You want to drive leads into you. Well, when we develop landing pages, what happens? Those leads come to us, so then we would have a disconnect. We don't really want to exert the time, effort, and energy to help you generate leads that come to us that then we have to manually turn back and send to you. So if you want a landing page or what have you, that's frankly on you.
That, that's your responsibility. We do have a marketing company. And if you want them to develop landing pages and marketing packages and videos, they can do it. Of course, they don't work for free, but the easy thing is free, right? Take this flyer, email us, let us know the phone number you want on there, answer the phone, and then you can promote it using this content. All right, so let's see what questions, comments, concerns uh, you all have. All right, so Scott's asking a question, which is a good one regarding, you know, how does this tie to access to capital? And we talked about this bit yesterday. The best practice is this, so pay attention, it's not visually shown on the screen. Once you have a person enroll in 60 day sweep, you know what utility they're looking for for the, the better credit, right? You know if what their why is, is it to buy a home, buy a car or start a business or what have you? Well, you make note of that somewhere, right? So a week after they enroll, then you follow up and, and let's say uh, we got Mr. White online. So then I'd give Mr. White a call. Hey, Mr. White, thank you again for enrolling in the 60 day credit suite. Looks like you're well uh, on your way to much better credit here soon. By the way, you mentioned that one of the reasons that you wanted better credit was to get funding for your business. Did I tell you about our access to capital program? No upfront cost offered through a 501c3, guaranteed $100,000 capital raise. This fits hand in glove with what you're doing with the, the credit suite. Let's go ahead and get you enrolled in that today, okay, Mr. White? And there's better than a 50-50 chance, Mr. White's gonna say, well, wait, so with no upfront cost, you guys are gonna help me get at least $100,000 and I can use it for whatever I want, sign me up. Right, So you should have more than a 50% conversion rate to access to capital. All right, thank you, Scott, for that question. Robert asks, when a person has a late payment, what's a viable solution? Well, we need to look at their credit profile and, and look at it in the, big, in, in the bigger scope. Maybe it's immaterial, maybe it's material. Is it an open account or a closed account? Can we work with possibly the vendor to get them to report it differently? But you, you don't need to be the credit consultant. If someone has interest in improving their credit, go ahead, Robert, and get them enrolled in the 60-day credit suite. Go ahead and collect the money from them. Send us the net 839, and we'll work with them on the strategies of addressing the derogatories. That's, that's not your burden, but great question. All right, and so Scott with one T, before I talk about Scott, two T, Scott with one T is talking about. So, correct, we cannot guarantee some specific credit score, No, nor can we guarantee specifically what will be removed. We know that we have a 96% success rate. We know how Section 605B of the Fair Credit Reporting Act works, and, and you do too. So. It's just those issues that fall under that umbrella uh, can be blocked. It's really that simple. Thank you, Scott, for that question. Sanya's asking a good question. Is credit sweep and credit boost the same thing? No, that's not. So credit boost has no upfront cost. Credit boost has no upfront cost, and it does not include the law firm doing these things. It just includes adding new positive credit. So credit boost, no upfront cost. Credit sweep has whatever upfront cost you choose, Sanya, because you're charging the client. Again, theoretically, you could charge them nothing upfront if you wanted, but that would create some negative cash flow for you upfront. But credit sweep is using section 605B of the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Credit boost is simply adding new positive credit. And I realize we make reference to adding new positive credit here, which will help them do with, for no additional cost through credit sweep. But we're not gonna do that until after the sweep, right? You, you, we don't want to be manipulating their credit profile during the, the 60 day sweep process. All right, Greg is gonna set up Zelle so we can get him his thousand dollars today, which is great. And he'll probably wanna use Zelle to accept money from clients for the 60 day suite. Mark is clarifying that the payment plan is up to, to him or up to you all 
for the sweep. And that, that's right. So you can charge them whatever you want up front and however much whenever you want later. I guess theoretically you could charge them $99 a month or $199 a month or $499 a month. I mean, it's just, it's, it's up to you. We're, you're going to, to score to us the $839 and then we're going to implement whatever you want to do on your side is, is up to you, Mark. Greg says, got it. Okay. So who else has questions? And, and I used this analogy yesterday and I, I kind of liked it. So I'm going to go back and use it again. You might wonder why we're spending so much time and attention on the credit suite. Well, again, as we started the call, if you want to borrow money, you have to have at least one of the three C's. Some clients, a surprising number of clients, do not have any of the three C's or specifically their credit is not good. Well, you and I, it, it's, it's like if we were Elon Musk and running Tesla and we had the design for a new battery, a new battery for electric vehicles that were light and long lasting. It's like a game changer. It's called a disruptive new technology. Well, that's literally a good analogy of what you and I have here. We have a new cheap and long lasting battery but in our industry of helping people obtain better credit to be able to get financing. So this is a big deal. This isn't a little deal. This is a big deal. It's legal. It's effective. It's fast. It's affordable. It's guaranteed. And it's going to make you a shitload of money because you would almost have to be incapable to not help three people a week. Three people a week puts at least 3000 in your pocket, ignoring helping them get into access to capital. We talked about the full economic model on yesterday's training, which you know more than doubles that. But the bottom line is there's a lot of people that don't make $3,000 a week at their primary employment. I know I used to be a public school teacher. I taught accounting, computer programming, economics, a couple other classes. And, and after taxes and benefits came out, I barely brought home $3,000 a month. So you and I literally can help people, ourselves or others, reasonably generate $3,000 extra income per week that they can use to pay their bills, buy things, finance a business, whatever it is they want to do. So, I mean, this, this is a game changer because it's, while the credit improvement industry is very crowded, it's, it's called a red ocean, uh, lots of sharks feeding. You and I are in a blue ocean. The blue ocean is what's um, what's less competitive and an open area. I met with the president of the University of Texas and we talked about this and, and we talked about the whole red ocean, blue ocean strategy. I mean, it, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. All right. So let's see. Um, Alan's asking about the payment to us. So yeah, so you're going to collect the payment from the client however you want. PayPal, credit card, cash, check, Bitcoin, Venmo, Zelle, it doesn't matter. You, you run your own business, Alan, however you want to collect money from your clients. For us, you're going to submit it to us either via Zelle or MoneyGram. On occasion, a wire will work, but, but in general, normally you'll send it either Zelle or, or MoneyGram to us. But it's up to you how you want to collect money. All right, let's see here. Okay, Sanya asks, can she use it herself? A absolutely. I mean, I used it and it took my bankruptcies off. And I, what I'll do is I'll scan in and put on on a, uh, on a future training to, to prove to you, if you don't trust me, which is fine, that literally this process took my bankruptcies off. Well, I was paying my bills after the bankruptcy, so my score wasn't bad. But as long as a BK is kind of hanging out there, it really does lower your scores. And I have validation of that. All right. And so then Greg's asking about doing 605B himself. Yeah, if you want to do it yourself, do it yourself. And you can do it yourself for free. Uh, we're using the legal model, which is, I would argue, better 
But, you know, you can do your own taxes or you can use H&R Block or a CPA. It, it, it's no different than that. It's fine if you want to do it yourself. Some people sew their own clothes. You might be growing your own corn in your backyard if, if that's what you want to do and do it yourself. All right, Jim Sullivan's got a great point. So Jim, and, and, he, and he reluctantly states this, he does this with no charge to the client. And, and I'll tell you what, what the, the, we'll call it the Jim model is. Jim will go to realtors and say, uh, well, like Joseph's on the line, Joseph's a, a licensed realtor, but he's also one of, one of our joint venture partners. But Jim would go to Joseph and say, Joseph, as a realtor, do you ever have clients that can't qualify for a mortgage? And then Joseph's going to respond either yes or no. If jo Joseph says no, maybe he's working with high-end clientele and it's never a problem. So there's no problem to solve. So Jim's just going to move on. But if Joseph says, yeah, yeah, on, on occasion or frequently, or sometimes I have people that don't qualify for a mortgage, why do you ask, Jim? And Jim's going to say, how about this? What if, if I helped you get those clients approved for a mortgage in 60 days? Those clients are going to pay me a very reasonable fee for this service. It's not credit repair, but it, it, it's, it's leveraging the Fair Credit Reporting Act Section 605B. I'm going to, just so you know, Joseph, I'm going to charge your clients a fair fee up front, but would you be willing to credit that amount back at closing when they close on the house if they use your realty services? And Joseph's going to say, hell yes, because you're going to take a group of people that Joseph can't get into a home now and make them un go, move from unqualified to qualified. So some of you, or I should say several of you have, have used strategies like that where you've gone to the referral source and said, great, I'm gonna charge the client, I'll help them, I'll get them back to you to buy whatever it is they're going to buy, but what I'd like you to do is credit that at closing. And that could be done on a car purchase, that could be done on a home purchase, many different types. And so we'll call that the gym model, that's very astute. So the client's paying you up front, you're not waiting for the money, but the client is more willing and, than ever to do that because they're gonna be made whole at the closing of the real estate or when they finance the car or what have you. All right, and so yes, uh, BKs are applicable, Robert. And, and yes, we can do, uh, as I mentioned, we can do ACH or wire if you prefer instead of Zelle or MoneyGram, just email that request over and we can get that to you. So I, I digressed off of Sanya. So Sanya, yes, you can go through it. And if you're referring yourself under the white label, you know, you're, you're paying us the 839, which goes for the legal process and we don't profit from that, but you would pay the 839, just like if you were referring in Stefan or Valerie or Will Hicks or whomever, uh, you know, how much you charge yourself is between you and yourself and it doesn't matter to us, but it's uh, super simple. Alan's asking about specific CRM for managing clients and payments. And, and Alan, you're, you're more capable than average, but for the average person, I would say, keep it simple, right? Keeping it simple would be spend the least amount of money, have the least amount of tools and resources necessary, because a lot of people just don't want to, to do work to set it up or manage. But if you wanted to have a, a bit more of sophistication to it, certainly you could use anything from a, a spreadsheet all the way to a CRM to, to track clients, but it, it shouldn't be that many moving parts, right? What do you do? You, you pitch the client, well, you generate the lead or you buy the lead, however you get the lead. So you generate the lead, you pitch and you close. And then now, granted, if you're working out payment plans then it becomes a little bit more painful, but if you just do the norm, hey, uh, Darnell, it's 2000 bucks, it's a great deal. Pay me half now and half after 60 days. How does that sound? And Darnell says, hell yeah, that's a great deal. So Darnell gives you $1,000 now, Alan, and you just need to make a tickler however you wanna do it, uh, that in 60 days, collect the other thousand. So. I would say that this is a very simple business model that wouldn't require a lot of sophisticated 
um, skills nor tools, but some of you, you will go set up a Salesforce CRM and, and do a lot of things. My concern, and I'm not saying with you at all, Alan, but I've seen some people, they just want to plan, plan, plan. And you know the rest of us are out there making money, helping people, and, and the planners are just sitting there planning and planning and planning. I've got one joint venture partner. He's been planning for months about how he's going to do this and do that, do this and do that. And he's making freaking no money instead of just doing and taking action. So uh, it, it's really as simple as get a lead, either generate a lead or buy a lead, pitch it, and close it. Right. Will everybody say yes? Of course not. Is there some money in the in the follow up? Some people will say no or not yet. Does it make sense to set a tickler for yourself and follow up with them in a week or two weeks or a month and say, hey, um, pick on John. John, uh, I know that we talked about a month ago, and at that time, you didn't feel like the 60-day credit suite was the, the right fit for you. I was just curious, how, how's your credit coming along? Are you now able to buy your home, get your business finance, whatever his hot button was? And John's going to probably say, no. Well, why don't we go ahead and get started? So the, the, the point I'm making is I would keep it as simple as possible. The more complicated you make it for the average person, the less likely you'll ever implement. And, and, and I hate to say this, but some of our highest income earners are some of the least sophisticated distribution partners we have. I, I don't know how to say that politely, but it's not always the smartest guy or the most educated guy that makes the most money. It's the person that, that puts the rubber to the road and takes action that's making the adult income. And then I will close on this. So on, on Credit Boost, you're right, Kwong. Some people have come into Credit Boost and adding positive credit only goes so far. It, on the 60-day Credit Sweep website, you'll see a ball and chain on, on, a, per, on a gentleman's leg. And, and that's a pretty good analogy, right? You could give people new trade line or get people new trade lines, but if they're really being pulled back because of a lot of derogatories, we really need to, to look at ways to address those derogatories or they're not gonna recognize the credit score increase they need. So each person has a unique credit profile, we'll work with them, but some people really need the derogatories addressed to be able to see the score shoot up. All right, so with that, uh, we'll do a quick summary and then, and then we'll, we'll end the call. So 60 day credit suite, new flyer. If you want the flyer free, 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 email us the phone number that you want listed at the bottom and we will send you a customized version of this. It's gonna be white label, private label. It's not gonna have our information on it. It's not gonna allow the person to circumvent you. They're just gonna learn this message and they're gonna call you. You need to have your phone ready. You need to have your voicemail open. You need to have your voicemail recording professional and, and let's go help people. There's just no reason that every one of you can't be helping at least three clients a week. That should net you, not gross, net income, profit, at least 3,000 a week. Again, I know some of you are big hitters and 3,000 a week doesn't even dent, you know, doesn't move uh, the, the speedometer at all or the, the fuel gauge or, or your bank account. But for the average person, an extra 3,000 a week by helping people with something that's needed, legal, ethical, affordable, fast, guaranteed is, is a good deal, a really good deal. All right, we'll see you all back tomorrow. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.